Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Ethan from Peking University School and Hospital of Stomatology. I'm very excited to introduce our recent published article, Nasal Characteristics in Patients with Asymmetric Mandibular Prognosis. Facial asymmetry is frequently seen in patients with asymmetric mandibular prognosis. These patients usually seek for surgical treatment to correct the chin deviation while deferring or not treating nasal deformities. Therefore, the aim of this study was to quantify nasal characteristics of 90 adult patients with asymmetric mandibular prognosis in Australia. First, we perform surface-based analysis. Instead of using manually annotated sparse anatomical landmarks, we use specially dense quasi-landmarks that cover the entire face. The large number of quasi-landmarks were automatically identified on each face using a previously validated template mapping technique. If a face is symmetrical, the original face and its mirrored counterpart could be aligned perfectly. Therefore, the differences between the superimposed face indicate where the asymmetry occurred. The visualized the location and the magnitude of symmetry by color code map. Then, we perform the linear distance and angular measurement. We automatically indicate 15 commonly used nasal landmarks to calculate the asymmetry of the nasal bridge, nasal layer, and nasal nostrils. Our result intuitively shows that the location and degree of asymmetry varied from patient to patient. For example, case 1 and 2 showed different patterns of paranasal asymmetry. Case 3 shows nasal alire asymmetry. Case 4 had a relatively symmetrical nose. The correlation analysis revealed that the level of nasal asymmetry was significantly and positively correlated with chin asymmetry and periorbital asymmetry. Linear distance and angular measurement showed that the nasal tip was significantly shifted to the deviated side of the chin, and the nostril were asymmetrical. In conclusion, nasal asymmetry is frequently presented in asymmetric mandibular prognosis in patient. Individualized nasal asymmetry evaluation should be performed, and the clinician should inform patient preoperatively about pre-existing nasal asymmetry. In the future, we will evaluate asymmetry between the face and underlying bony structures of this patient. Furthermore, we will follow them up to identify the treatment effect. Thanks for your watching and enjoy reading our article.